Hi everyone, welcome to Gold Rocket Gamers and uh, my new series, Learn to Play Kerbal Space Program 2. So, this is a game I've been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, I played Kerbal Space Program 1 a fair amount a few years ago. Uh, I wasn't a pro, I didn't stream it or make videos of it, um, but I did enjoy that game very much. Um, I'm a physicist by education and an engineer by trade, so maybe some of that training will come into play here, but full disclosure, I am not uh, an aerospace engineer, I do not design rockets uh, in real life, um, but yeah. Uh, I just love this kind of game. So we're going to give it a try, uh, see what we can learn. I've decided to record this from scratch, so I've literally never started this game before. Um, so if you've got any advice, tips, your own experiences to share in the comments, then please do. I'd love to hear them. Um, I am a noob, so I will do things wrong. Uh, maybe when I get some more experience, maybe I will make some how-to videos. Or you could just learn from my mistakes by watching these, that's fine. Uh, but really, this is all about a journey of starting from scratch in Kerbal Space Program 2 and learning uh, how to play the game and especially with this for science update um, I think this is going to be a really good time to jump into the game and to start working towards some goals so yeah thank you very much for watching uh, without further ado we're going to jump into the game your new space program leaping forward into the cosmos. Since the dawn of Kerbal Kine, we have looked to the sky and wondered what sublime mysteries lie hidden in the darkness, like jewels never beheld. These untold treasures may soon reveal themselves due to the efforts of recently founded Kerbal Space Program. Oh my, I think that might have been the only copy of the orientation film. Hold on! Slides, uh, somewhere. Uh, um. Welcome to your first day running the Kerbal Space Program. This campus hosts the greatest ever gathering of astronomers, astronauts, and engineers. After years of focused effort, this collection of geniuses has created several very impressive buildings. We believe we have all the necessary pieces to take our first steps off the ground. The best way to advance our technologies further is to get up there and learn by doing. All we need now is somebody to show us how to put all these parts together. Well, we also need somebody to help us out with the flying. We need a lot of help, actually. That's why you're here. My name is Paige, by the way. If you need any hints, feel free to visit me over at the training center. Everything in there is well padded, so it's a great place to get up and running. Welcome aboard. Okay, that was a nice little intro. Um, okay, we have some pop-ups now. So this is already an improvement on KSP1. Uh, they seem to be a little bit more welcoming uh, to give you a little bit more advice, which is very good for new players and for people like me who aren't new but aren't very good at the game. So, uh, I've got to visit Mission Control first. Fine, sounds good. Uh, and we need to earn science. So I'm wondering, do we want to just kind of wander around the surface of Kerbin to begin with to get some science? I know that was um, a legit strat in KSP1. Maybe I'll make a little rover and drive around Kerbin. We will see. Um, okay, I'm just reading through these tooltips. If I go too slow, you can fast forward. If I go too fast, then feel free to pause it and read them yourself. Um, Okay, training center, yeah. Okay, let's start with the mission control then. Get us some missions. So, launch a rocket. That's a pretty good mission to start with, I think. Um, Kerry will automatically accept all missions. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, right, launch a rocket. Time to launch Kerbal Space Program's inaugural vessel, a fully functional rocket. Launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude of at least 10 kilometers. 25 science. That doesn't seem like a lot of science, but I guess it's a very simple task. Uh, okay. Brought to you by the Kerbal Space Center. What happens if I click Mission Brief? Oh, she talks to us. Is it a she or a he? Is she pay? Oh no, she's 
Dr. Kerry Kerman. That could be a man or a woman. Um, anyway, Mission Control is just one of many impressive buildings we've finished. It's got that new building smell and everything. Here you can access everything you need to embark on missions to earn science. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Turn over science to this guy. Uh, okay, I don't want to take the refresher course. I think missing the ground's quite a good description. I think that's essentially I've got to try and uh, fall successfully. I've got to try and take off and fall towards the earth and miss or avoid colliding with the earth as I fall. That's what orbit is. So. Uh, now that we have a director, blah, 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 it's our first mission. Your objective is to launch a rocket from Kerbin. Yeah, okay. Okay, track mission. Let's track that. Cool. Okay, and then can we do anything else in here? Can I... What does escape do? Okay, fine. Uh, so you can go to your other things. Can I close this? Click on that to close it. Fine. Don't think there's anything else you do in here. Okay, sounds cool. Let's try and build... Uh, what's in the R&D sensor, first of all? Okay, this is research and development. Yeah, this is this is what I love about this game. I like to unlock new parts. Okay, so we have got zero science, so we can't unlock these, which is fine. We've got star and rocketry. Sounds good. That's enough to get us 10 kilometers above the surface of Copen. How do we get back now? Is it escape? No, it's not escape. Or maybe it is. Okay, there's. I'm just interested to see if there's... I know there's uh, something in the escape menu. But I just want to see if I can get out of this screen another way. No, there's no button, so it is literally escape. And then you can move to the other facility, which is actually quite a nice quality of life feature. So we need to go to the vehicle assembly building. Okay, here we are. So, that's a nice screenshot. Our rocket's not going to look as good as that. Um, VAB, yep, I know the VAB, I do remember this. Yeah, parts picker. This is something that apparently changed quite a lot from the first game, so we'll see what that looks like. Uh, command pod, an engine, and a fuel tank. Yep, yeah, all important things. Can we remote control things? I don't really want to kill a Kerbal on my first mission. Uh, use the engineer's report to see how your vehicle will perform. Okay, yeah, this is important. Uh, I, uh, yeah thrust to weight ratio and this must tell us our delta V as well okay trip planner is that seriously oh wow you can actually plan all your trips that is a little bit OP but I guess people just google it anyway so yeah why not put it in the game um, to be honest, I never calculated Delta V in KSP1. That's probably why I didn't do so well. I just kind of winged it. Um, but yeah, actually doing the maths and knowing the Delta V is actually quite important. Um, training centre teaches you everything yet. Yeah, okay. Right. So, let's get a pod. We don't actually have a lot of pods to choose from. So, what could go wrong, right? Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. I, oh, it's not, it's not hold, click and drag. It's just click and then drag. Okay. Uh, I can turn with right click. Now I'm told, I remember seeing something about middle mouse being cut parachutes, so we're going to have to be careful of that when we're flying. We don't want to accidentally do that. So, methyl oxygen fuel tank. This is just one is bigger than the other, I think. Yeah, one carries twice as much and weighs twice as much, fair enough. Uh, a decoupler and a parachute. Should we be ambitious and try to just recover the whole thing? on our first run. Kinda wanna do that. Let's do a half tank. Let's put this in. And then we're gonna need parachutes. Extra small excess, I guess that's what it means. So, hmm. how many parachutes? Oh, it's a nose cone parachute. Uh, okay. I was kind of hoping for more parachutes and to be able to rescue the whole craft. Maybe that one parachute will be enough, but I'm not so sure it will be. We've got an adjustable fin. 
don't think we'll need that for what we're doing. Oh! Are these... Oh, no, that is just the nose gun parachute. Should I put a decoupler in here, then? I probably should, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to put a decoupler in here. So, if we can save the whole structure with this parachute, then great. We'll do that. But if it looks like we're not slowing down enough, I will fire the decoupler to try and reduce some weight. Um, so this is our staging. I'm actually going to move the staging around, which is definitely not what I would normally do. You'd normally decouple first, but... Um, how do we add another stage? Here we go. So, first we fire the thruster, then we fire the parachute, and then we decouple if we absolutely have to. Is space decouple? Okay. Um, I'm guessing it is. Or space is move on to the next stage, I think, which would include decoupling. A workspace orientation. That's weird. Okay. Um, center of thrust. Yeah, yeah. All straightforward stuff. Um, I don't know what that green symbol means, to be honest. Um, okay. Can we paint it? I'm sure there was a way to paint your uh, your rockets in this game. Oh, there you go. Color manager. Oh, so my oh, that's actually not black, is it? That's like a purpley. I do like purple, but that's not actually what I was going for. Uh, oh, you can change agency colors now. Though. That's that's a nice touch. Um, let's just do that. Okay, so black and yellow. I don't know if I like this, you know. put like stripes on this thing how do you paint individual parts I'm not sure oh part here you go haha <laughs> okay so because this is all one yeah it wants to stripe it horizontally can I make the stripes in a different orientation I can do this maybe oh that's weird I'm not really sure what that's doing, to be honest. Making it just a bit kind of transparent. Um, okay. I would like stripes going the other way. I'd like it all to be black and yellow, but fine. That's alright, though. You know, this is okay. These match. Yeah, I think that's that'll do for now, for our first launch. Okay. How do we save this ship? Uh, da, 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 da. Engineer's report. It's got thrust. Six thrust to weight ratio, so it's definitely going to take off. Uh, okay, most of its mass is. Well, a third of its mass is fueled by the looks of things. Okay. Um, can we put someone in here? Are they all the same? What's the difference between these Kerbals? I don't know. I think are there different classes of Kerbal? I don't think there are. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put him in. Uh, actually, I didn't want him in. I wanted Tim C. Kerbin in there. Okay. Right, how do we save this thing? Uh, up here. Save. Let's see. Let's call it... Um... Hmm. The GR1 prototype vehicle. Uh, so, oh, sorry, that's the workspace file name. Okay, let's call it GR1. And the workspace is, I don't even know what that means, the file name. GR1 prototype. Okay, that's just the file name. Um. First test launch is the description. We don't need capsules on the team test. And we also spell launch with a H and RG. Save that. Right. Um, I think we're good to go. 
All right, let's, let's launch. I don't. I just realised I don't actually know the controls. I don't know the controls at all. Should we quickly check the controls, guys? Okay. Uh, settings. Okay. D -d 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 user interface. No. Gameplay. Input. Gameplay. Oh, it's input. Right. Okay. Yeah. Pitch your role makes sense. Translate. Interesting. That's to do with um, moving around in space with the air booster things, I think. Um, okay, docking we can worry about much later in the game. Um, although I do want to get a space station up pretty early. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. I decided I want to play this game differently to how I played Cable Space Program 1. I want to get um, space stations set up and then launch on a launch from space stations, but refuel at space stations and that kind of thing. Uh, Max Throttle is ZNX, that's the same as the original game if I remember correctly. Uh, left control and left shift, shift is throttle up and down. That is what I was looking for. Okay, that makes sense. SAS is also important. Is it SAS or RCS? I forget. I can't remember what they stand for. Okay, T and R anyway. We need one of those. I can't remember which one. We don't have landing gear on this craft. We don't have brakes. Okay, I think... Oh, hang on. We want to know how to stage. I'm guessing it's spacebar. Just keep looking. Quick save. That's going to be useful. F5, quick save. F9, quick lo load. Fine. Uh, uh, so if I just hit space... Oh, I never worked out how to get back in. Okay. Um, how do we earn EVA? Board is B. Thank you. There we go. Going back down. How high are we? Quite low, I think. Uh, we're going quite fast. Let's get the parachutes going. If it's not enough. Science? I think probably not. Did we actually hit 10k? I don't know if we did. Oh! <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? What? Oh, did I break the parachute? Oh, no. Okay, failed. Okay, so that parachute is not strong enough to take us back. Can we revert to launch? We can. Okay, confirm revert. So we do have to detach the engine. That parachute is not strong enough to take the whole craft back. Fine. That's fine. We are going to try and reuse parts in this playthrough. I'm not ideal at doing that. I'm not the best at doing that. So in Kerbal Space Program 1, I never... Uh, I did sometimes retrieve parts, but I didn't clean up after myself. So in this game I'm going to try and make sure that our stages get um, burned up in the atmosphere and I'm going to try and save what, what we can and what we can't. I'm going to try and not leave littering around space but no promises, right? Um, okay, let's try again. So we're going to take off. We're going to do a crew observation. We are going to get out. We are going to run do something else here. Nope. We are going to leave the board. We can't board because oh yeah, we're just in slightly wrong position. Fine. Um, well, that's all we can do. Okay. There's no other signs we can do at the moment with, what, with the instruments we have, I think. So we are. Get 
let's let's just do it now. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, we need to change our staging, don't we? We need to change our staging, and maybe I'm releasing the parachute too high as well. We'll see. Might have to change, reset again, and change my staging. So there's no more science we can do that I can tell. Uh, deploy setting. Should say this. I hope so. It's just the capsule that's dying parachute, so you'd think it would work. What does go mean? Does go mean use the parachute? I don't know what that just is. Oh, I think you have to press it again to use the parachute. Okay. Anyway. We. I oh, know. I thought we veered very far away, but no. There's there's multiple. Um, sites? Well, that's the VAB over there. This is where we launched from. It looks like there's another launch pad over there, which is interesting. Maybe... is that... No, the airstrip's over there, so I don't think that's for planes. I think that's another rocket platform, as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe we do need to speed up time. Let's just do that. Here we come. Can we... maybe we can actually... Oh, don't pause. Maybe we can do a bit more science now that it's going slowly. I mean, I doubt it, but it's worth a go, right? Run an observation. Did that do anything? I can't even tell. Is anything in there? No idea. Back in now. So we've still just got one crew observation, which is fine. I'm not going to transmit it. I don't know if it works in this game, but I think in the last game, if I remember correctly, you didn't get all the science if you transmitted it, you got a percentage of it. But if you physically returned with the observations, you got all the science. Um, I don't know if it's the same in this game. I might even be misremembering the last game. I don't remember. But yeah, we're going to land this thing. Well, we're just going to let it fall with the parachute. And then we are going to recover our science and do something a little bit more interesting. I think. Very nice. Successfully land. Landed. Okay, crew return. Nice. So, let's do that. Did I actually get to the 10Ks? I don't think I did. I probably need more fuel. Okay. Let's go back to the R&D center. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted, but actually, we need to unlock some stuff, so we got some science, so unlock light launches. Nice. Now we need, yeah, let's unlock some science first. I mean, it'd be nice to get better boosters, but we need to get more stuff there, that's just science. I do need probes at some point, because I do want to start remotely launching things without having Kerbals inside. But first, it's got to be science. How much science do we have left? Twelve. We could get something else. Uh, but I kind of might want to save my science for other things. Maybe I want... If I want to launch the rocket with the science station on it, though, I might need a more powerful booster. So, probes, no. Construction is... That's quite cool. It's stacked by a couple of, but we don't need it just yet. Um, I mean, maybe it's a good call to make planes early because you can fly around and get different sides from around Kerbal, but I am really bad at building and flying planes in this game. Well, I was in, in Kerbal Space Program 1 anyway. I'm going to hold on to the science. I'm just going to see what we need. Um, let's go to the mission control. Launch a rocket. We did not get the 10 kilometers, so... Let's build a rocket. And there we have it. We have successfully launched and recovered our first rocket. Um, I know it's only a humble beginning. There's much more to come. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, video. 
let me know what you thought of it. Um, I left it mostly uncooked because I wanted you to see the full new player experience. Um, there was one or two bits I cut, cut out because it was just me faffing around uh, and it wouldn't have been interesting at all. Uh, if you want to see completely uncut versions, then, then let me know. Equally, if you'd like shorter versions or you'd like me to cut out more stuff, I, I can do. All my looking around in menus and trying to work out how to play the game. Uh, I did think about cutting that, but um, I think it's quite nice just to to see uh, how someone goes from a, a being a complete noob to maybe actually being decent at this game. So yeah, much more to come. Um, if you like the video, please uh, like it. <laughs> please uh, look out for more videos. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm looking to put out these videos about once a week. Um, and yeah, come with me on my journey to... Um, explore space to learn how to fly rockets and planes in this game um, next stop we'll start doing some satellites we might do some um, interactions in space try some docking um, and then of course we're going to go to the moon and we'll just expand out from there so there's much more to come um, thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the very near future thanks bye